an R programming romance when love R's meet. So I went to that party. The first person that caught my attention was a beautiful lady. Attractive, yes. But it was more than that. She seemed like a very interesting character. I really wanted to get to know her better, but I was a bit shy. She had a laptop on her lap, where else, and seemed to be focused on it. After watching her for a mere 30 minutes, very unobtrusively of course, I dared to get a bit closer. I was pleasantly surprised to see some familiar hex stickers on her machine. Gaining a bit of confidence, I managed to smile and mumbled, Ah, I see. You like modern art, René Magritte, and cats. So do I. I was lucky. She smiled back and calmly asked, So you're into R? I swallowed nervously, then nodded. Got some tricks to entertain me? She asked teasingly. I know a bit of history, I replied, not the boring stuff from school. Mind if I type a few lines of code? She got curious and willingly gave me access to the laptop. So this is the code I came up with using the leaflet package. And this is what the code produced. A map and she zoomed in and out a little bit. So it's Auckland in New Zealand and there's a marker here and you can click on it and it says R was born here in August 1993. So she played a little bit with that map but she wasn't too impressed and she said so you read Leaflet's help page. Well done. I just hope that isn't all. <sighs> Fine, I sighed. Okay, I don't want to get too personal too quickly, so let's stay object-oriented for the time being. How about the following code? And this is what I typed. And she looked at it and she said, okay, some fancy large number, but why? And I said, well, I think life is not just about numbers. I want this to be a romantic date, I said, and I looked her straight in the eyes. See, that's both the danger and beauty of Base R's S3 system. You can arbitrarily change object classes. She was curious and hit enter. And now she was impressed, at least a bit. She read out 2022, February the 22nd, 2200, 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Yes, she was impressed at least a little bit. And after a moment she said, well, I see you have some intuition for numbers. Fine, but can you match mine? I had absolutely no idea what she was up to. My experience is that guys may be genius at solving logical tasks, but tend to be somewhat mm, less gifted when it comes to numerical intuition. I was astonished. Can you be more specific about how that intuition for numbers comes into play? I asked. She was straight to the point. Sure, watch. What do you think this code will produce? I looked at the code. So. Some seeds are set and after each seed a random sample is taken from the letters of the alphabet and here when there are several letters um, they are collapsed together to a word and then the words are pasted together. So I said I guess three words are created, one, two and three, but she said yes, um, sure three words are created, but what will the message be? I said, I have absolutely no idea. And she said, exactly, because you have no intuition for numbers. So she allowed me to hit enter to see what the code would produce. 
and I was stunned when I read, Are you ready? She looked at me triumphantly and said, Your turn. Come up with something, cowboy, she teased me. I needed to gain time. Finally I said, I saw that four cat sticker. So you like cats. That's something we have in common. I know how to make cats purr, or rather, how to make R purr. Does that count? Show me, she was as direct as ever. What if your intuition leads to longer sentences, I said. Surely you wouldn't copy and paste said seed, magic number and sample all the time? She hesitated for a moment and then she quickly said, of course I'd write a function. Sure, I'd smiled, gaining a bit of confidence back. But have you ever iterated over several vectors at once? She was honest enough to shake her head. This was my chance. Let's start with a function. I needed to type quickly to make an impression. So this is the function I came up with. So it takes a seed and a word length as arguments and then it does exactly what we saw before. It sets the seed and then samples from the letters of the alphabet using the word length, um, collapsing the letters together to a word and converting them to title case. So she looked at the code, she nodded a bit, but then she quickly asked, how can we apply that function elegantly? At first I wanted to copy her magic seeds from the previous example, but she stunned me by quickly giving me new seeds. So these are the seeds she came up with, seemingly out of her sleeve. 208,710, 1,982,138 and 942,538. So, two of the seeds ending in 38, curiously. The word length were all four, and now we both looked at the code. She kind of liked my map to character function from the purr package, also the cat function, so enough cat content here, purring and using cat directly. So, she was a bit curious about this code and I had no idea what the seeds would produce, so we were both curious. And so this time it was my turn to hit enter to see what the result of this code would be. My hands were sweating a bit and then I saw the message need more data, so I thought about it for a moment and then I daringly asked, does that mean you want to get to know me better? And then my heart really melted when she just smiled. And then she said, oh, I need to go to the bathroom for a moment. I'll be right back. And this was another chance for me, so I needed to be really quick. This is what I came up with. I went all in. So I extended the magic message function using another argument, choices. So we now have seed, choices and word length, three arguments. So the choices are flexible now, which means we don't always have to sample from the letters of the alphabet, but choices is now an argument to the sample function inside the magic message function. The rest is more or less the same. We paste the words or uh, the letters or the numbers or whatever we put as choices together and convert them to title case. And then something really magic happened to me and I wish you can all experience something similar at some point in your life. I guess the adrenaline and love flowing through my veins opened up a channel that had been closed and hidden before and somehow I got intuition for numbers. So these are the numbers I came up with, nothing in the million range like she had before, but at least a maximum of six digit numbers um, and sampling mostly from the letters of the alphabet, but also for one part of the message um, I wanted to sample from the digits zero to nine. So she came back from the bathroom and looked at the code and she was sort of impressed by my pmap character function. So this, um, contrary to what we saw before, can iterate over more than two vectors at once. Here we have three vectors, seeds, choices and word length. So the choices are the new argument that we didn't have before. And contrary to before, we now have to wrap these vectors that we iterate over 
in our list. So that's what this code does. The rest is very close to what we saw before. So now it was her turn to press enter because she didn't know what the message would be. My hands were sweating really and I was really curious to see her reaction. So she ran the code and the message was let us make 2022 our year. And in the plot window I had also um, quickly downloaded and displayed a hex sticker of the per package. She smiled a bit and she tried to keep cool. She said, no, I haven't used the pmap character function before, but never mind. You are at least somewhat romantic, she said to me, not only rational, but also intuitive and you love cats. So I daringly asked, does that mean we'll have another date? And my heart melted once again when she just said, I hope it will be more than one. Well, and that basically brings us to the end of the story. I hope you liked it. All the best for your romances, for your relationships and for your R adventures, of course. If you like to play around with the code, you can find it on my GitHub profile. The link is in the description. All the best for everything. Um, like and subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.